What's up guys, this is Joe and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2, the Leon B scenario. And now we're picking things up here inside of the save room, but if you check my inventory you might notice, I don't know if you guys can notice anything, but there might be a little bit of a difference between my inventory last episode and this episode. That's because at the end of last episode after we were done recording, I forgot to save my game. Awesome, so I had to play all the way back up to this part again. It really wasn't that long, I guess, but I had to play back here. So, if you notice any differences in the inventory or anything like that, noticeably the lack of health items because I got attacked by liquors. You know how they had so many liquors in here? Yeah, I got hit by liquors left and right trying to play back up to this point, but that's where all the health items went. So, we're going to go to the first floor to use the blue card key, which I got last episode, which was in a completely different area than uh, from where we were when we were playing Claire's scenario, which is what I like about these two different scenarios. All the item placement is different and everything. It kind of reminds me of the director's cut version of Resident Evil 1, so it gives it a lot of replayability, except in this version, it's not just different item placement, it's a whole different story. Alright, so now you can hear all the doors clicking on the first and second floors. Now we can get onto that side of the police station. I'm not going to say mansion, that side of the police station, and start opening up some more doors. Let me go ahead and pick up this ink ribbon, because if I remember right, we should be running into a save room right over here that I can just go ahead and drop it in, so I might as well use it, you know, that way I don't run out of save ribbons. That way if I see a higher quantity of save ribbons in my item box, maybe I'll remember to save next time, so I don't have to deal with playing back up to where I left off. Oh, whoa, what the heck is this guy doing in here? This is supposed to be a save room, man. I shouldn't have, I probably shouldn't have wasted the, the shell on him, but I don't know. I, usually they're not in the save rooms. I mean, I guess I don't hear the save room music playing, but I assumed it was. There's a box here, but there is no typewriter. Maybe the typewriter is the symbol of the save room. Who knows? But we don't need ink ribbons now. Don't have any health items, as you can see. Uh, we're going to be using these keys in a second. I'll get them in the later save room. But yeah, this is pretty much all I've got right now. I've just got three shells and a handgun. I'm going to go ahead and equip the uh, shotgun here because if you remember right, there should be a liquor coming up. We've got a police memorandum. Uh, 823 1998 this letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the per the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with four digit lock has been moved from the star's office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. 2236 Raccoon Police Liaison Department. All right, so we already opened that safe last episode. That's the same note as like with the Claire scenario. Man, get there are these zombies are like especially badly decomposed. Ooh. Compared to other ones, aren't they? There's a locked key over. There's a locked desk over there, but there's a there's another desk that's going to be locked later on that I want to save my uh, my small key for, just in case I don't find another one. Now, if I get two small keys, and I'll come back and open this one as well. Don't want to lose my life to these freaking petty zombies. Look at this. I don't know why these ones are so. At least to me, they look a lot more like badly decomposed. I mean, you can see their skeletons and everything. They kind of remind me of the naked zombies at the end of the game and like the lab, you know, the Claire Ace scenario. Usually at this point of the game, they just had the policemen. I, I didn't remember them looking that bad, but maybe it's just my own observations. I don't know. Hopefully we don't run into the liquor. Remember in Claire's scenario, they had like a little cutscene for them and everything in this hallway? Uh, I guess, are we going to? No cutscenes? No liquor? All right, that's fine with me. And we got an herb here. Thank God. It's a green one. I thought it was going to be a red one. That would have been a cruel joke on Capcom's part. Because then I would have just had a red herb I couldn't do anything with. It's locked. The spade. Alright, so we're going to have to get the spade keys, just like last time. Head's missing. Yeah, the liquor ripped it off. And once again, this is one of those little fuse boxes. I'm not going to use the fuse here, see? Because, like last time, I'm not going to be over here, so it won't matter if zombies come in through these windows. So I'm going to save the fuse again once I find it. Uh, but coming up, we're going to be heading into the briefing room. It's got all the, like, the office desks and everything. And we're going to be getting the first red jewel in there because... Oh, whoa! Alright, so apparently the zombies can drop in anyway, even if you haven't sealed the windows up with the power cords. Even though I'm not sure you could even seal those windows up, but whatever. Alright, so we're back in this room. If you guys remember it, at the end of, like, in this... Oh, whoa, what's here? Operation report. Is this the same? If it's the same thing, I'm probably just going to cut myself reading it, you know, because I don't want to waste time, but let's see. Operation report. September 26th. The Rackham Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed, and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors, as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. 
to unlock the weapon storage. As stationed earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Recorder David Ford, Operation Report, September 27th, 1 o'clock p.m. The west barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Recorder David Ford. Additional report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as as of yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue, capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively named this cr uh, creature the Liquor and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. I think we read that in the Claire scenario. See, I don't really remember reading, you know, I don't remember the exact content of every little file, so I'll probably just read over them again quickly like I just did with that one, you know, because I don't remember what I read and haven't read. All right, so there we go. We've got the handgun bullets, and like I was getting to, you can see this little portrait here, the uh, really sickening portrait that... The chief finds oh so appealing. See, Leon, unlike Claire, Claire's little, like, I guess, I don't know, native object was the lockpick. Leon's the lighter, so I can just use the lighter, and the first red jewel will fall right out of the painting, just like in Claire's scenario. And now we've got that one, and if I remember right, the second one is still on the second floor in the hand of that statue. We're going to have to do that little puzzle to get the second jewel, and then we'll have both of them. So we can go back to the other side of the police station and use them. All right, so let me make sure there's no more ammo anywhere else around here. Now this place, I don't think we'll be coming back in there again, because I remember the only reason we had to come back in there was for the jewel, which we have right now at the beginning. So where did these guys come from? Oh, they broke through the window. That's right. Don't really want to waste any, you know, shotgun ammo on them. So hopefully I can get rid of this guy before he can grab onto me. Dang. Ooh, that was close. Hopefully he's dead, right? No, I don't know if there's a pool around him. No, he wasn't dead. Hey, man, Leon's scenario definitely is harder. They put some zombies with you in some squeezed places like that. I think this hallway coming up is even worse. They're probably going to have even more zombies over here. Let me make sure. I might have to get the shotgun out. Oh, wow! For once, they were, when, when, when we were playing as Claire, there were like tons of zombies here. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I guess they uh, they went somewhere else. We got some more herbs, and there's the save room, which I'm going to go in. If you guys remember last episode, I went ahead and got these special keys so I can get Leon's uh, alternate costume. Uh, I don't really remember his costume that well, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on, and we'll see if I like it better than his default. If I don't, then I'll just switch back to his default. So let's go ahead and check it out. There's also This is the film developing room, by the way, if you guys don't remember. And I don't remember if you can develop film as Leon. I think that might be like a Claire-specific thing, so I'm not sure about that. So the report on this desk here. Operation Report 2. Operation Report, September 28th, early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to, uh, to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we, look, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will, will be helpful to whoever may find it. Recorder Elliot Edward. Now, really quick, when they keep mentioning the weapon cache in the basement or the underground of the police station, are they talking about... I don't know if you guys remember that little room where uh, I had, where was it? It was two lockers I could have picked a weapon from. I picked the submachine gun instead of the ammo pack because I wanted to leave it for Leon. If that's the, if that's the big weapon cache they keep talking about, there's like a barely any weapons in there at all. Oh, wow, this looks like a cool outfit. There are two outfits that fit me. Awesome, I didn't know that. Oh, we'll try, uh, I guess we'll try the left one first. Looks pretty cool. It's got like a skull in, on the back of it. I, I'm guessing it's a biker outfit. I thought there was only one. All right, this one looks pretty cool. I like this one. It's like, a, like I said, like a biker outfit. I like the skull on the back. I mean, it fits the zombie theme. Let's go ahead and check out the other outfit. Oh, wait, I don't want to go back to my original outfit. I want to try the other one. There were two in the locker. We already know what the original one It's Oh, whoa, this isn't the original one either. This is like a RPD. Oh, he even holds the pistol gangster style. Look at this. He's ready to do... Oh, my God, I never even knew that it was like this. Does he even shoot... 
That is awesome. Definitely keeping this costume. I think this is awesome. I didn't even know he had that cool little difference in shooting. I wonder if he holds the other guns like that. Does he hold the other guns differently? Oh, no. All right. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know that he would do that with the handgun. That's pretty awesome. All right. We're going to stick with this outfit. I wonder, really quick, I know you're probably like, oh, just stick with one outfit. I want to see if he, I, I want to see if he does that with the other, you know, the leather jacket as well, because I like the leather jacket more. So if he holds the, the gun like that with the leather jacket, I'm keeping this. Yep, all right, we're sticking with the leather jacket. I like this one better. All right, so let's go ahead and get the, let me see, did I discard the weapon, or not the weapon key, the special key? Yeah, it did it for me. All right, so I'll get the, there we go, the small key in there. I'm going to use that in a second. We don't need this red herb. And obviously I don't need a, a knife, an ink ribbon, or a valve handle, so this looks good to me. We'll head out with this. And I like this outfit better. I mean, I, the other one was like a little, I don't know, like a tank top or something. I like this one. And it's cool how he does that, you know, different shooting animation. I never even knew that. I don't even know if I've gotten his alternate costumes before. So this is pretty awesome. Alright, let's head upstairs. And I think that little puzzle I was talking about with the other red jewel is up here, if I remember right. With the statue, so uh, we'll go ahead and do that. That way I can get both of the crests, the, uh, the red jewels together, and we can put them in on the other side of the police station, like I said, and that armor will open up. I remember I used to think this door was creepy. Yeah, not really. All right, yeah, here it is right here. So it's just like last time in Claire's scenario. Come on, Leon. What, what the? He just walked right past it. You just want to push the statues into the notches on the opposite walls, just like that. You see how that, that little notch to my right? There's also one on the opposite wall here. You just want to push the statue in place. Same for the other one. And the red jewel will come loose from that statue's grip. I don't know how, but it does. Maybe... I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know what, what mechanism works. I guess it, there's like a spring in his fingers or something that loosens up. I don't know. But uh, you get the red jewel anyway. And I don't remember what we get out of the... Uh, when we use the two red jewels, I don't remember which I item we get. We'll be finding that out as well, because I think it's probably different. Like I said, the item placement in the two uh, scenarios is different, so obviously that'll probably be different as well. So let's go ahead and knock this in place, get that, and then we'll head into the next hallway, which I believe is where the star's office is, which should be cool. Yep, it just drops it just like last time, and now we've got both the red jewels. I should probably make my way back down to the item box because I'm not going to use these. I don't want to run out of item space. There might be more items we have to pick up. Like I said, we've got the star's office and I, I think the library too ahead of us. So let me go ahead and get rid of the red jewels because we don't need them right now. All right, so I'll head down here. What was I going to talk about? There was something I was going to say to you guys. I'm trying to remember. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know. How, how could I forget? I'm playing a Resident Evil game. I just wanted to mention really quick how Resident Evil 6 is coming out October 2nd. It's right around the corner. I can't wait to get it. You know, I haven't talked about... I used to do a thing where I would talk about, like, games and stuff and tell you guys what I'm playing, what I'm, you know, occupied with, what games I think you guys should try out. All right, this looks good. But I don't even, like... To be honest, I don't really play games that much anymore besides what I when I let's play a game. Like, this is pretty much all I play nowadays. You, I used to be, like... I used to play all the time, but now I don't really play that much. Uh, but the reason for me bringing up Resident Evil 6 was because that's actually a game I'm looking forward to and I'm pretty excited for. Uh, like I mentioned in the Claire scenario, I played the demo. I didn't play the whole thing. Still haven't played the, the whole thing, surprisingly. I played Leon's scenario, actually. I mean, I'm playing Leon here. I played Leon's scenario in the Resident Evil 6 demo, and I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I liked how you can move now when you're aiming. I, I, I think I mentioned that about how I thought his run was pretty funny, because I think it looks funny. Hopefully they fix it. Probably won't, but... I mean, I thought I thought Resident Evil 6 demo looked cool. Obviously, I didn't play the other one, the other scenarios that much, but I really just... Oh, whoa! We're getting a Magnum this early? That is awesome. Man, that's awesome. I was going to say I haven't played the other two scenarios, so I can't really, you know, give my full impression of the demo. But I might not have to, because I'll have the full game soon, and then I can give you guys my impression of the full game, so... All right, so we've already looked at all these desks. If this, I know that I've read this. I know I read this. So if this is Chris's diary, I'm just going to skip through it. Yep, we already read this. He went to Umbrella HQ and all that. But he's asking Claire to forgive him. I definitely know I read that. Let's go ahead and look around here. I don't even know. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. Um, in the Claire A scenario, it's this desk right here. I checked this desk right here like 30 times, and it gave me a film for Claire. Do you guys know if I check this like a ton of times, if, if it will give a item for Leon as well? Because I'm not sure, so uh, I'm not going to do it because I'm not sure if I even get anything out of it. But if you guys are, leave it in the comments, and I'll be sure to come back and, you know, mess with the desk so I can get that item for Leon as well. Let's make sure there's no items behind the thing here. Yeah, I figured there was handgun bullets. I think that those were there before as well. I can't believe we got the Magnum this early. That's awesome. I mean, 
We, we're getting some pretty good guns. Alright, there's nothing in the typewriter, or the typewriter, the fax machine now. Something should be popping up, though. Oh, apparently not. I thought, well, it did for Claire when she left, but apparently not for Leon, so we'll just keep heading on through. Get rid of these zombies. I know, I know in the Claire scenario, I let these guys live. Not this time around. And is it just me, or is Leon shooting quicker with his alternate outfit and his new shooting stance? That's pretty awesome. Alright, Oh, no! Damn it, I thought I had him. Get off. I think the other one's dead. Man, there's a... You know what? Forget it. Forget it. We're using the shotgun. Who gives? There, get down. I think that took at least two out. Alright, there's one more crawling on the floor. We'll go ahead and take care of him. And one more guy here, and this should be all the zombies. Yeah, that they're all dead. Good. There was like five of them. Wow. I think there was only like two of them in the Claire scenario. So, I'm, I guess on top of item, item placement, they changed up the amount of zombies in areas as well. So, that's cool. I think we might be having a cutscene coming up, actually. Hey! Wait! Alright, so Sherry has escaped, but she left something here. Oh, she left one of the prison keys! Alright, well, we didn't even have to work for that one that much. Which one is it? It looks like the spade key to me. Oh, diamond, whatever. I don't, a spade, if obviously that's not a spade. I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, that's my excuse. Alright, so we've got some shells here. Go ahead and load those into the shotgun so I don't only have two shots in it. There we go. I'll get the pistol loaded up too. I gotta get that magnum out of the inventory. I'm not gonna use this yet. Uh, I'm gonna obviously save that for boss fights and stuff because the magnum is like a... Leon. Oh, whoa. Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. All right. I wasn't expecting that. But then I now I remember, you know, Claire did come in here when uh, Leon was in here. Now we know what he was doing. He found Sherry. And I like how they kept Claire's, uh, you know, alternate outfit, just like Leon's. Let me see if I talk to her if she says anything. I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. All right, I'm pretty sure that's what she said in her own scenario, too. I thought Leon might have said something, but that's pretty cool how they kept her alternate outfit. I like that. All right, now, I wanted to, I wanted to save my small key so that I could use it on this desk because I believe there's a pretty worthwhile worthwhile item in here. Yes, it's going to be the handgun parts. All right, I'm going to take that. All you want to do with that is you just go ahead and equip it with your handgun, and it will make it even more souped up. Now it is the... Let's go ahead and check it. An H and K VP70 burst, VP70 with a stock holster, capable of firing three rounds auto burst. All right, so now it's a, it does a burst fire, and you can check, you can change that right here, where it's auto or manual. Manual, I'm pretty sure it'll just do one shot at a time. Auto, it does burst fire. So obviously manual, you can probably save a couple more bullets, but I'm gonna keep it on auto because. I don't know, I think I have enough bullets. Once I start getting low on bullets, I'll go ahead and change it to manual. And I can show you guys what the burst fire looks like. So as you can see, it's got a stock on it now. Leon just looks awesome, man. I mean, oh man, I was going to say, I was wondering if he was going to hold it sideways, but I mean, obviously it's got a stock, so no really need, no real need for that. So we'll just head into the library now and see what's in here. I'm probably going to have to do that same puzzle again where I had to like shift the shelves and stuff. Yeah, see, it's still here. What was that? Man, were those the power cords that I put in place when I was playing as Claire? I didn't think they were going to break. Well, great. Now that place is filled with zombies. And I was just talking about how I was, how was going to save power cords. Awesome. I got to remember that events and actions that I took, uh, that I did during Claire's scenario will have repercussions in Leon's scenario here, which is really awesome. I like that. You know, I'm happy they're bringing back multiple scenarios in Resident Evil 6. They might not you know, cross over as much as these two did, but it's just cool to be able to play from different characters' perspectives. All right, so we've got to drop down here like uh, before and just move the shelves in the sequence that you can see on this little diagram here, bronze plate with a picture on it, and yeah, you just got to arrange the shelves like that. Like, I think uh, last time we were doing this, I think Kyle was in an episode with me, and we were mentioning how these shelves remind us of the library at our school, and they definitely do. So, I mean, I figured I'd bring that up again. So I'm pretty sure you just got to move this one to the right, and then move the other one that's all the way here to the far left. Move that to the right as well, and that should do the trick, hopefully. 
Yes, all right, and we've got a different looking item there. If I remember right, last time we got one of those stone tablets that we had to use in the uh, Chief Iron's office, but that obviously isn't a tablet. What is it? It looks like a plug. A bishop plug. All right, there we go. So I guess uh, that's a new item for Leon there. We didn't get those that's, We didn't get those in the Claire's campaign, so a bishop plug. Let me go ahead and check it. Let's see what it says. A plug of some sort in the shape of a bishop. All right, well, that was really useful. All right, so we've got a bishop plug. We'll be finding out what I have to use that for shortly. Let me see. Uh... I rem if I remember right, on the third floor, there's also a, a room up here, but I think I needed a crank. Let me go ahead and check it out anyway, you know, just to make sure. Maybe the staircase was down because Claire used the crank in her scenario. I you know, you never know. I don't remember exactly, you know, all the intricacies of what happens and what doesn't happen because of what I did in Claire's scenario. So it's worth a shot. We're already over here. Let's check out and see if the stairs are down. If not, then I'll probably head to the other side of the mansion and go to the save room. All right, they're not down. Damn it. I still have to find the squ uh, square. Oh, yeah, I got to find the crank. Where did I find that last time? I think it was in one of those offices that had like a bunch of files, like filing cabinets and stuff. I think it was on top of something. I had to use a stepladder to get it. So we'll see if that's in a different area because I actually remember where the crank was. So I'll put the game to a little bit of a test there and see how much they really, you know, change up the item uh, placement. All right, so there's nothing we can do on the third floor. Let me look at my inventory really quick. Don't need the bishop plug. Don't need the magnum. And everything else can stay. And we've got a diamond key. And I picked up a police map, I believe, so I can use this to help me see... There we go. I can see which doors I need the diamond key for. All right, so I see a few. There we go. So I'll be sure to do that. But I think I'm actually going to make my way over to the save room and probably end the episode there because I'm running up on my classic, you know, 20 minute. I don't want to go too far. I like to keep these episodes around 20 minutes, as you guys know. So let's go ahead and head to the other side. And I, if I remember right, last... Oh, whoa. All right, let's put this pistol to the test. That is freaking awesome. It instantly puts the zombies to the floor. I don't know if he died, but... I mean, he, he, he went on the floor. He's out of the way, so that's all I care about. All right, but I was going to say, last episode, if you guys remember, I put out the flames on the chopper, and I went around the chopper. That's how I got to the room with the... the oh, I'll just do that this episode. The two uh, red jewels. I'll go ahead and use those. I want to see what item we get. Uh, but what I was going to say was... I'll just show you because it's kind of hard to explain. I'll show you. We're going to have to pass the uh, the down chopper anyway, so I'll go ahead and explain it. So let's go ahead and get the red jewels in the inventory. That'll do good because once I use them, that, uh, that'll that free up uh, two item slots, so that's more than enough. I don't think there's two items sitting inside of that statue, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. But what I was going to say was, remember in Claire's scenario, how do you how do use C4 to blow this out of the way? Both the helicopter and the door are destroyed. It doesn't look like it's possible to get to the other side. I don't. I wonder if Leon has to get the plastic bomb as well. I don't, I don't really remember. That might be something exclusive to the Claire campaign. I don't remember, but let's go ahead and go in here and put the red jewels in place. Now, if you guys remember, there was a liquor that broke through the glass earlier. Since I had a playthrough up to where I left off last episode for this one, I went ahead and killed him so that this would be easier. So there you go. That's why he's not here. All right, let's go ahead and put this one in place. We'll put the other one in place, and we'll see what item we get. I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's another one of these plugs because... Like I said last or last time, we got one of those uh, stone tablets out of this statue, I believe. Just like we did in the library, and it gave us a plug instead of a tablet. So I'm guessing there's another plug in here. Let's go ahead and see. It looks like one. Yep, there we go. A king plug. All right, so these are apparently following the motif or, I don't know, the theme of a deck of cards. All right, we've got a king plug and a bishop plug. I'm guessing there's... Oh, no, not a deck of cards. Like chess, you know, bishop, rooks, kings... I'm guessing there's a queen and a rook. There we go. I, that's what I'm going to think for the other two, because if I remember right, there's only four plugs. All right, so let's go ahead and head into the save room, and I'm probably going to go ahead and end the episode there. Don't worry, I won't... Uh, well, I guess you guys don't have to worry. I should, that, I should say that to myself. Don't worry, Joe, you're going to save this time. That way you don't have to play all the way back, you know, an hour plus, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed episode two of Let's Play Resident Evil, the Leon B campaign, and I cannot wait to see you back for the next one. Thanks for watching.